Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name's Graham, and this is the Neat Feed. Here's the question of the day. What's fried, covered in red sauce and mozzarella, and on almost every Italian-American restaurant menu across the country? We're talking about chicken parm, of course. Chicken parmesan is everything comfort food should be. Juicy chicken, crunchy coating, that bright, rich flavor of the tomato sauce, and melted mozzarella. Today, I wanna to switch up the original chicken parmesan recipe. I'll show you how to do a double crunch on the chicken, which is gonna make it extra crispy. We'll also do a pesto ricotta, which really brings out the flavor of the red sauce. Find the link for the full printable recipe down below in the description. First, I wanted to show you how to make a really great roasted tomato sauce. But if you're short on time, you can skip this step and use any jarred tomato sauce that you like. To start, I've preheated the oven at 425 degrees. I have two large cans of whole tomatoes here that I'm putting in a nine inch Pyrex pan. You can also use any roasting pan that has high walls on it. Then I'm picking some fresh basil leaves and some of the stems to put into the dish. The stems give it some extra flavor that I really like. Then roughly chop one yellow onion and add it to the pan. The pieces of onion can be larger because you're going to blend everything together after it's roasted. Next, I'll season the vegetables with olive oil and salt and pepper. I'm adding enough olive oil to lightly coat all the vegetables and give it a nice flavor. Lastly, smash two to four garlic cloves and add them to the dish. Mix everything together so all the vegetables are coated in a little bit of tomato sauce and olive oil. Roast at 425 degrees for 30 to 45 minutes until everything is nice and browned. Now to prepare the chicken, I'm laying down a layer of plastic wrap on my work surface to keep everything clean. I have two large chicken breasts here that I'm going to cover with another layer of plastic wrap. Now to tenderize the chicken, I'm going to use a large rolling pin. You could also use a mallet, a wine bottle, or even a pot. Start by firmly tapping the center of the chicken, working your way out to the edges until it's even all the way through. It should be about half an inch thick when you're done. Now, I'll quickly make the breading for the chicken parmesan. I'm adding the breadcrumbs to a shallow pan, but you could also use a mixing bowl. Sprinkle in the shredded parmesan cheese, the onion powder, the garlic powder. And the zest of one lemon. Be sure to season with salt and pepper as well. Mix everything together thoroughly so it coats the chicken evenly. Now to make the pesto ricotta, I'm adding one cup of ricotta cheese and about three tablespoons of a pumpkin seed pesto that I just made. I've added a link to the recipe for the pesto down below in the description. To bread the chicken, I have three pans set up here. You want to make sure the pans are large enough and flat enough to hold the chicken. One of the pans is filled with the breadcrumbs that we made earlier. I also have some all-purpose flour that I've seasoned with salt and pepper, and a pan with three eggs in it that I've whisked together with a little bit of water. Start by evenly coating the chicken in the all-purpose flour. Dust off the excess flour from the chicken before putting it into the egg wash. Thoroughly coat it in the egg wash before adding it to the breadcrumbs. Then, to give it a double crunch, 
I'm adding it back to the egg wash to coat thoroughly and returning it back to the breadcrumbs. On the second coat, firmly press the chicken breast down into the breadcrumbs so there's a nice thick layer. Repeat the process with the second chicken breast. Now to finish the tomato sauce, I'm adding the roasted tomatoes from earlier to a blender. You could also use a food processor. I'm seasoning with salt and a little extra olive oil. Blend on high for two to three minutes. This will help aerate the sauce and make it a lot more fragrant. Be sure to taste test on the way and add more seasoning if needed. To cook the chicken, I've added about a quarter inch of vegetable oil to the bottom of the pan over medium heat. Once the oil is hot and starts to shimmer, cook one chicken breast at a time. Cooking on each side for about two to three minutes until it's nice and golden brown. We're looking for a nice sear on both sides of the chicken. It's okay if it's not cooked all the way through. We're gonna finish the chicken in the oven later. Repeat the process with the second chicken breast. Finally, to put everything together and prepare it for the oven, Start by adding a nice layer of the tomato sauce to the bottom of the pan and place the chicken breast on top. Then coat the chicken with another layer of tomato sauce. You can add as much tomato sauce as you like here. Add a nice spoonful of the pesto ricotta on top of the chicken breast. Sprinkle on some fresh mozzarella and Parmesan cheese, and it's ready for the oven. I've preheated my oven at 350 degrees. Cook the chicken for about 15 to 20 minutes until the cheese is melted and nice and bubbly brown. And voila! This is what it looked like when it came out of the oven. Crispy chicken, melted mozzarella, and that nice roasted tomato sauce. And there's the double crunch chicken parmesan. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to check out the printable recipe via our website. If you liked the video, be sure to like and subscribe. And we'll see you next week with an all new recipe.